Y usted y yo que quedamos, you and I that are here, if you have your notes, you can see in your Bibles the first scripture, uh, or one of the first scriptures that we see here, una de las primeras escrituras que vemos es Hechos capítulo 2, it's Acts chapter 2. So I'm going to ask you to turn in your Bibles to Acts chapter 2. Voy a pedir que volvieran su Biblia en Hechos capítulo 2. Uh, I want to apologize. Quiero pedirles disculpa. Este, I didn't come to church without a mask on purpose. No vine. Um, se me olvidó I, I, mi, mi cubrebocas. I forgot my mask. Um, so I apologize for that. But uh, I'm not sick. I'm not feeling sick. No me siento mal. Um, but I will try to keep my distance uh, as much as possible. Well, let's... I believe we've already prayed for the Lord to speak to our hearts. Creo que hemos orado que el Señor hable a nuestros corazones, a nuestro espíritu, to our spirit. So, if you're still standing, uh, if you're seated, that's fine. Uh, si puestos de pie, vamos a orar, uh, perdón, leer. We're going to read Acts 2. We're going to look at 2, 42 to 47. Vamos a ver el 2, uh, capítulo 2, versículo. 42 hasta el 47. This is the picture of the early church. Aquí está un retrato de la iglesia primitiva, la primera iglesia después de que resucitó Jesús, after the Lord resurrected and went back to the throne. Um, dice el 42, 42 says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Se mantenían firmes en la enseñanza de los apóstoles, en la comunión, En el partimiento del pan y en la oración. When it says breaking of bread, cuando dice partimiento del pan, it's talking about uh, communion. Uh, ahí está hablando de la Santa Cena. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and signs were being performed through the apostles. Todos están, estaban asombrados y por, muchos, por los muchos prodigios y señales que realizaban los apóstoles. Now all the believers were together and held things in common. Todos los creyentes estaban juntos y tenían todo en común. They sold their possessions and property and distributed the possession, the proceeds to all as any had need. Vendían sus propiedades y poseon, pos, posesiones y compartían sus bienes entre sí según la necesidad de cada uno. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple and they broke bread from house to house and they ate the food with joy and sincere hearts. No dejaban de reunirse en el tiempo, ni un solo día de casa a casa partían el pan y compartían la comida con alegría y generosidad. Praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people, every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Alabando a Dios y disfrutando de la estimación general del pueblo, y cada día el Señor añadía el grupo, los que iban Siendo salvos. Se pueden sentar, you may be seated. Those of you that were sitting down, you may stand up. Aquellos que estaban sentados, se pueden parar. And those that you are dis- disobeying, you can come into the altar and repent afterwards. Y aquellos que están desobedeciendo ahorita, pueden venir al altar y arrepentirse al final. Um, Acts 2. 43, Hechos 2.43. We're going to be focusing on this verse and others like it. Vamos a fo- enfocarnos en este versículo y otros así similar. Algo que la iglesia primitiva hacía, something that the first church did. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and signs are being performed through the apostles. Todos estaban asombrados por los muchos prodigios y señales que realizaban los apóstoles. Apostle is a disciple or follower of Jesus. El apóstol es un discípulo, un seguidor de Cristo. It's not just a minister, no solamente un ministro. And it's not only reserved for them, but we'll see here in a little bit. Vamos a ver en un ratito que no está reservado solamente para los ministros. It's a follower of Christ. Anybody who decided to follow Christ or who has decided, cualquier persona que ha decidido seguir a Cristo, can be an apostle, a, a a follower, a disciple, a student, un estudiante, un discípulo, 
un apóstol, un seguidor. The Bible says that the church was in awe because of the things and the miracles that were happening. La Biblia dice que estaban asombrados por los milagros que estaban sucediendo. I don't know about you, but I think nowadays miracles would be even more amazing because we see them less frequently. Creo que hoy en día sería más asombroso porque lo vemos um, no muy frecuentemente aún en la iglesia, even in church much less in the streets, más infrecuentemente en las calles. The title of today's message, el título del mensaje de hoy es When They, Después De. The subtitle you can see there also, oh, el, el, el título secundario dice, el subtítulo dice, si se unieron a la iglesia, people were added to them. So we're going to look at The, the, middle, the middle of the formula. Vamos a ver lo de en medio de esta fórmula. Because the beginning is the first part of the formula. Lo primero es um, lo que principia la fórmula. And then we have the result. Y luego tenemos el resultado. So when they did these things, cuando después de hacer estas cosas, then we have the results. Y luego tenemos los resultados. The people were added to the church. La gente se añadía. So tenemos, cuando hacían, mm, se añadían a la iglesia. When they did, mm, they were added to the church. People were coming to the church daily. Gente se añadía cada día a la iglesia. And I think if the church started off this way, I think we should not depart from the things that they did. Creo que no debemos de apartarnos de lo que hacía la iglesia si cada día se añadían a la iglesia. Just to touch base with the five functions of the church para tocar esos puntos de los cinco funciones de la iglesia. Within it, serve, connect, grow, go, and worship. Dentro de eso es servir, conectar, crecer, ir y adorar. We're going to focus on go. Vamos a enfocarnos en ir. Within our core values, we have spread the gospel. Dentro de nuestros valores fundamentales tenemos compartir el evangelio. In Acts 2, we see that they were doing it with signs and wonders. In Hechos 2, vemos que lo hacían con milagros, señales. But they did it with something else, pero lo hacían con algo más. That's what we want to focus on today. Vamos a enfocarnos exactamente en eso en este día. Turn with me to Acts 4.13. Voltea conmigo a Hechos 4.13. Just a couple of pages, a couple of chapters capítulos después, quizás páginas. Acts 4.13, Hechos 4.16. It says, dice, When they observed the boldness of Peter and John and realized that they were uneducated, untrained men, they were amazed and recognized that they had been with Jesus. What a powerful verse for a follower of Christ. Que versículo tan poderoso para alguien que quiere seguir a Cristo. Los gobernantes al ver la osadía con que hablaban Pedro y Juan, ya al darse cuenta de que eran gente sin estudios ni preparación, quedaron asombrados y reconocieron que habían estado con Jesús. Wow. When somebody knows that you've been with Jesus, cuando alguien reconoce que has estado con Jesús, that you are a follower of Christ, that you have a relationship, que tienes una relación con Cristo, has estado con Él, has pasado tiempo con Él, eres seguidor de Cristo, and it's not because of your education, y no es por tu educación, and it's not because of your profession or how you carry yourself, no es por tu profesión o cómo, cómo, te, 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 cómo caminas y... y y te llevas. But it's because of their, pero es por su, ¿qué? What? What does it say? Because of their boldness, por su odas, osadía. I, I chose a different word. Yo escogí una palabra diferente. You'll see that coming up. Van a ver. En un momento. 
but their boldness, pero esa, esa valentía, pero es más que valentía. I might as well give you the words, voy a darles la, la palabra. La Biblia dice osadía, the Bible says audacity in, in Spanish. But in Spanish I chose, pero en español yo escogí la palabra atrevido. In English it's atrevido. And I think it's a message that the church has to hear. Creo que es el mensaje que Dios ha escogido que el pueblo escuche. And it's not because I heard a voice overnight. No es porque yo escuché una voz durante la noche that said that this is what God wants to speak. Que dijo que esto es lo que Dios quería proclamar. But I think that as I see not our church, but the church, the people of God, no nuestra iglesia, sino el pueblo de Dios, las personas. I think it's missing, and I think that's why we are where we are in our society. Creo que falta esa, ese sentir de atrevido, that, that boldness. Es por eso que estamos en nuestras condiciones en este país. That's why people in the White House are pushing pagan programs and, and agendas. Creo que por, por personas en el gobierno ahora, um, lo podemos ver en personas ahora que están, um, no estoy hablando políticamente, I'm not talking politically, but, eh, pero en, en el gobierno hoy se están programando cosas paganas, se están programando cosas en contra de la palabra de Dios. They're programming things against the word of God. And we lost our boldness as a church. We lost our voice. Perdimos nuestra voz. And, and the proof is that the more conservative party and the people that, that, that want to speak for the, the things that are in Scripture, las personas que hablan y, y quieren um, hacer leyes de acuerdo a la Biblia, they want to do laws according to Scripture, and they do their best, to, but, but they can't do it if they're not elected, pero no lo pueden hacer si no son elegidos. I'm not talking about Trump or Biden. No estoy hablando de Biden y Trump. I'm, I'm, what I'm talking about is that we, the people, control the laws by who we elect. Nosotros, las personas, controlamos las leyes por quien elegimos. For example, por ejemplo, there's, there's laws being pushed towards sin in, in homosexuality. Por ejemplo, están leyes que se están promoviendo acerca el, la, uh, el homosexualismo. But because we elected those officials in the White House, porque elegimos las personas en la Casa Blanca, están haciendo eso, they're doing that. But because of elections as well that went the other way, pero también por elecciones que fueron al otro lado, the Supreme Court, la, la Corte Suprema, Just a little while ago, hace poquitito, hicieron, establecieron uh, o, o juzgaron en, en un caso. They, they judged in a case that was for the Bible. It was for biblical concepts, for no necesariamente la Biblia, pero por conceptos que se encuentran aquí. It's a matter of who's elected. Se trata de quién es elegido. And I say all that to go back to the point that the church needs to be bold. Digo eso porque la iglesia ha perdido su atrevido. We don't speak up anymore. In graduations, we shut up because they tell us to shut up or we'll get in trouble. In graduaciones, nos callamos porque nos dicen que nos debemos de callar y no proclamar a Cristo and not to proclaim Christ in graduation speeches or prayers in las oraciones o lo, la, las convocaciones en las graduaciones son mejor nos callamos porque si no pues las reglas we, if we don't shut up in the, the laws the, the rules we'll, we'll get in trouble nos vamos and then at the same time y la misma vez vemos a uh, mexicanos jóvenes mexicanos we see Mexican young people in the news en las noticias porque tienen la bandera mexicana because they have the Mexican flag and they're being bold with the country that they probably don't even know están haciendo atrevidos con un país que quizás probablemente no conocen personalmente. A ser atrevido, to be bold. 
means that you have to have a cause. Quiere decir que tienes que tener una causa. And what I don't understand, y lo que yo no entiendo es how the people of God who have the best cause, como el pueblo de Dios, que tienen el mejor, la mejor causa, the cause of Christ, the cause of eternity, the kingdom of heaven, la causa de Cristo, la eternidad, la vida, la muerte, life and death, sin and holiness, el pecado y la santidad. We're not bold enough. No somos atrevidos suficientemente. Turn with me, if you can, to Acts 4.31. Por favor, voltea conmigo a estas citas. Actually, you know what? I, I'm going I'm to put a pause on that. Voy a poner un pausa allí. I'm going to ask you to go to Acts 5.23. I'm going to show you a couple of scriptures where it's, it's not just this one portion of scripture. No solamente es esta porción de la escritura. I want to show you that in various books of the Bible and in various places, it's, it, it was just a fact that the people of God were bolder back then. It, it's no más un hecho de que las personas eran más atrevidas. At least... I can say that of our country, por lo menos puedo decirlo de nuestro país. Around the world, people are dying and being martyred for Christ. So I can't include the world. I can't include the underground church in China. No puedo incluir los demás alrededor del mundo porque hay personas en China en una iglesia escondida. Tratando de memorizar una página porque no tienen Biblia. Trying to memorize one page because they don't have Bibles. There's people dying for the cause. Hay personas muriendo por la causa de Cristo, the cause of Christ. Acts 5.23, Hechos 5.23. It says, we found the jail securely locked. Encontramos la cárcel cerrada. With the guards standing in the front doors. Hmm? That's the wrong scripture. Es la escritura equivocada. I'm sorry. Well, you learned about prison, I guess. Let's go on. Um, Hechos 14.3, Acts 4.3. That's what happens when I go from written notes to typing. <coughs> Hechos 14.3, Acts 14.3. says, so they stayed there a long time and spoke boldly for the Lord. En todo caso, Pablo y Bernabé pasaron allí bastante tiempo y hablaron valientemente. It says bravely or boldly, valientemente o atrevidos. En el nombre del Señor, in the name of the Lord. But look what follows boldness. Mira lo que sigue lo atrevido, lo valiente. Who testified to the message of grace by enabling them to do signs and wonders. En el nombre del Señor, quien confirmaba el mensaje de su gracia haciendo que señales y prodigios por medio de ellos. It's interesting that, and we'll see that over and over, but I want to point it out now because you're going to see it in the scriptures that come. Quiero um, alucirlo ahorita, en, aunque lo vamos a ver en las escrituras que vemos, I want to point it out, quiero, quiero que usted lo vea para, para, para que sobresalga so it can stand out. That boldness always precedes signs and wonders. Que lo atrevido o lo valiente siempre viene antes de los prodigios y las maravillas. And I think this is exactly why the church is not seeing signs and miracles. Because the church has lost its boldness. Creo exactamente que nosotros hemos perdido como iglesia la audacia, osadía. Y lo atrevido, la valentía, y por eso no estamos viendo los prodigios y los milagros que antes veían más comúnmente. Signs that are occurring around the world, las señales que están ocurriendo a través de todo el mundo, pero no cuando la iglesia no tiene esa valentía, but not when the church does not have that bravery. Romans 15, 9, Romanos 15, 19. Romans 15, 19. I don't know if I said 9. Romans 15, 19. Romanos 15, 19.
Romans 15, 19, Romanos 15, 19, by the power of miraculous signs and wonders, the power of God's Spirit, as a result, I have fully proclaimed the gospel of Jesus Christ from Jerusalem all the way around to Elysium. Mediante poderosas señales y milagros, por el poder del Espíritu de Dios, Así que, habiendo comenzado en Jerusalén, he completado la proclamación del Evangelio de Cristo por todas partes hasta la región de Iliria. 2 Corinthians 12, 12, 2 Corintios 12, 12, 2 Corintios 12, 12, 2 Corintios 12, 12. It says, the signs of the apostles were performed with unfailing endurance among you, las marcas distintivas de un apóstol tales como señales y prodigios y milagros se dieron constantemente entre ustedes they were among you including signs, wonders and miracles if you turn to Hebrews 2.4 si voltean a Hebreos 2.4 we see the same thing vemos lo mismo Hebrews 2.4, Hebreos 2.4. At the same time, a la vez, God also testified by signs and wonders. Dios ratificó su testimonio acerca de ellas señales, con señales y prodigios y diversos milagros y dones distribuidos por el Espíritu Santo según su voluntad. Various miracles, wonders and signs they testified with distribution of gifts from the Holy Spirit according to his will. And now we go back to Acts. Y ahora volvemos a Hechos, capítulo 4, chapter 4. And we'll get to fill out our papers. Y vamos a llenar los papelitos. Hechos 4, 31, Acts 4, 31. We have a formula here. Aquí tenemos una formula. Remember we said, when they... Blank, then people were added. Recuerden, recuerden, dijimos, después de, mm, se unieron a la iglesia. 431, 4.31, the Hechos of Acts. When they had prayed, the place where they were assembled was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God boldly. Después de haber orado, tembló el lugar donde estaban reunidos. Todos llenaron, fueron llenos del Espíritu Santo y proclamaban la palabra de Dios sin temor alguno. The first one is prayer. La primera es oración. Look at that verse. Miren ese versículo. When they prayed, cuando ora, después de orar, when they prayed, después de orar, Signs and miracles happened. Los milagros sucedían. When they prayed, the place shook. Cuando oraron, el lugar se estremeció. But the Bible says that they were together. La Biblia dice que estaban juntos. Asamblea. Assembly. When they were together, después de reunirse, Veían los milagros. They would see miracles. The Bible says that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. La Biblia dice que estaban llenos. When they are filled with the Holy Spirit, después de ser llenos con el Espíritu Santo, veían los milagros. They would see the miracles. Lastly, in that verse, para terminar en ese versículo, when they spoke boldly, después de haber hablado atrevidamente, estaban hablando, eran atrevidos. But it was in that order, pero estaba en ese orden. We can't expect to be bold if we don't pray. No podemos esperar ser atrevidos si no oramos. If we're not together, si no estamos juntos, unidos, en la misma página, in the same page. We can't expect to see signs and wonders. No podemos esperar ver los milagros. We can't expect to be bold if we're not. You know, there's power when there's people behind you. Hay poder cuando hay personas respaldándote. 
you feel more confident, te sientes con confianza. Si no me equivoco, you feel like singing louder when the radio is on. If I'm not wrong about this, no, or is it just me? Uh, no más yo. I, I think I, when the radio is on, I think I can sing. Cuando está prendido el radio, creo que puedo cantar. And then something happens, y luego algo sucede, and it goes quiet, y se hace silencio, and uh, sale la voz, whoa, the voice comes out, and yikes. There's a boldness that comes from being backed up, and, and some people don't get together with others in church. Algunos no vienen a juntarse a la iglesia. And they think they can do it alone, and, and, and I hope they can. Creo, creen que lo pueden hacer solos, y espero que sí. But the Bible teaches me different, pero la Biblia me enseña algo diferente. That when you're together, que cuando están juntos, unánimes, on the same page, de acuerdo, en la misma página, you have a boldness, you have a confidence, tienes una confianza, te sientes atrevido, una valentía, a bravery. They were filled with the Holy Spirit, and so they were bold. They estaban llenos del Espíritu Santo, y así fueron atrevidos. The reason I chose that word, la razón por que escogí esa palabra en español, boldness and not bravery, atrevido y no valiente. Number one, it's in Scripture, and primeramente está en la Escritura. But, but the reason I, it spoke to me, pero la razón por qué me habló es que it means something very different porque significa algo mucho más que valentía. It means something more than bravery. Boldness. Ser atrevido es hasta cierto punto, up to a certain point, is to act a little crazy, comportarse un poquito loquito. It, it's, it's not this, to me, this, this is why, what I'm talking about, de esto estoy hablando, porque para mí, the word brave, la palabra valiente, it's like a, es como un, tan, 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 like a superhero, como un héroe. It's like a run into a burning building, como correr a, a un incendio para rescatar a alguien to rescue somebody that's in there. Like a, like a, a, a disregard for danger is como un no, no ver el, el peligro. But boldness, pero la palabra um, atrevido, it, it speaks of, a, of, a, of an embarrassment type of tone. Habla de un tipo de, um, iba a decir embarazo, but that's not right. Uh, vergüenza. It doesn't always work when you translate the letters. Um, it, it's, it's talking about, it, see, the brave fireman, miren, el bombero valiente, no, no está, no hay vergüenza en ir a esa casa que se está quemando. There's no shame in going into a burning building to try to rescue somebody. But to talk about a God that you can't see, pero hablar, de un Dios que no puedes ver. There's an embarrassing factor. Hay, hay un factor de vergüenza allí. And boldness. Y la... Ya no más se me viene osadía. Now, but I'm not, atrevido. Ser atrevido. Habla de que no me importa lo que diga. And it talks about, I don't care what people say. I have a passion, tengo una pasión. I have a cause, tengo una causa. I have eternity that people need to know about. Tengo una eternidad que la gente tiene que saber. I have an answer, yo tengo una respuesta. His name is Jesus, su nombre es Jesús. And nobody will stop me, nadie me va a parar. That is boldness, eso es ser atrevido. Dang it, I gotta just say it out once in a while, I forget. It, it's, you know, can I, can I just, you know, I don't, I don't know if that, I get in trouble with the deacons. Um, Les puedo 
ser sinceros, can I be honest with you about something? Look, I, I truly feel, yo, con todo mi corazón, yo siento que Dios va a hacer algo, that God is doing something, que lo está haciendo en la iglesia, here at church, in our church, en nuestra iglesia. But I have enough experience in the Lord, pero tengo suficiente experiencia en el Señor to know that God is not going to do it the way I think he's going to do it. No matter how outside the box I think, no le hace que tan fuera de la caja yo pienso, Dios no va a hacer las cosas como pienso. The way I see it on TV, la, la manera que lo veo en la televisión, or the way I see on Facebook, or the testimonies that I hear from other people, or these mega churches, los testimonios de otras iglesias grandes, o como lo veo en Facebook, o lo veo en la televisión, I, I just know enough that God's not going to work like that. Yo sé suficiente que Dios no va a trabajar así. As, as creatures of influence, como criaturas de influencia, we, we always want to do it the way people do it so we can get the same results. And we know we're different. Siempre queremos hacer las cosas como las otras personas para obtener las mismas res, los resultados sabiendo que somos diferentes. We know we're different. Sabemos que somos diferentes. And I know this church isn't going to grow like other churches. Yo sé que esta iglesia no va a crecer como otras iglesias. And this is the honest part. Y esta es la parte honesta. My personality, my personalidad, is no hacer las cosas si no sean perfectas. It's not to do things until they're perfect. Now, I'm not saying that I do things perfectly. No estoy proclamando que hago las cosas, cosas perfectas. I'm saying that's my desire. Yo estoy diciendo, de, estoy hablando de mi personalidad, mi deseo, de que se hagan las cosas bien, that the things are done right. Or I don't do them at all. O no las hago. And that's a problem for me. Es un problema para mí. Because if I'm not doing it perfect, I'm not doing it. Porque si no lo estoy haciendo perfecto, no lo estoy haciendo. And there's a lot of things I'm not doing. Y hay bastantes cosas que no estoy haciendo. And that's not good. Y eso no es bueno. And God is working in me. Dios está trabajando en mí. And he's showing me in the church. Y me está enseñando en la iglesia that you have to go forward. Que tienes que avanzar. And if it's not perfect, you still have to go forward. Si no es perfecto, todavía tienes que avanzar. And, and, and he shows me in scripture. Y me enseña en la escritura that the disciples were all messed up, que los discípulos estaban todos trastornados. Estaban confundidos, they were confused. Jesús les decía cosas, Jesus would speak truth to them, and se quedaban como, ¿qué? They were like, what? And Jesus just kept going. He didn't stop and explain. Jesús continuaba, no paraba a explicarles. And the disciples were just like, Okay, we'll just keep following. Los discípulos como, oh, pues, no nos va a explicar, vamos a seguirlo de todos modos. For three years, they were confused. Por tres años estaban confundidos. And then Jesus dies, y luego Jesús se muere. Talk about confused. Qué confusión. El reino de Dios, qué pasó? The kingdom of God, what happened? The first early church, la iglesia primitiva, estaban todos, por todos lados, they were all over the place. There were so many people, Ahí había tantas personas. They didn't have room for them, no tenían lugar para ellos. They left their families and their homes, I don't mean their families like their close families, no quiero decir que dejaron sus familias inmediatas, sino viajaban con las familias a Jerusalén, sucedió el día de Pentecostés, the day of Pentecost came, and they were in a different city, and they got baptized with the Holy Spirit, se bautizaron en el Espíritu Santo, and they got converted, se convirtieron, and they gave everything up for Christ, y dieron todo para Cristo, now the church doesn't have a place to live, la iglesia ahora no tiene lugar para vivir, porque no iban a regresar, not all of them went back, so the people from the local church, las personas de la iglesia local, Jerusalem was the main city. Jerusalem era la ciudad principal, right? So we know that the people with the most money were probably in that area. La gente que tenía más dinero era, era, decimos que era de allí, right? Because it was the main city. Just like New York probably has more money than El Paso. Nueva York tiene más dinero que El Paso, right? And it's just how it goes. Así va la cosa. So people had properties. They started to sell them. La gente tenía propiedades. Empezaron a venderla. And they started to give out to people who didn't have. Y empezaron a repartir. Todos estaban juntos. They were together. They were on the same page. There was love. Había amor. Estaban en la misma página. 
And our church in nuestra iglesia is going to go through rough times. Va a pasar por tiempos difíciles. There's going to be times where, where not everybody shows up. Not everybody responds. Va a haber tiempos donde no todos vienen, donde todo, no todos responden. There's going to be times where, where, where the leaders are, are messing up and we're confused and we get it wrong. Va a haber tiempos que los líderes estamos confundidos y erramos y no la, no la hacemos bien. Mistakes will be made. Errores se van a cometer. But here's the thing. Pero aquí está la cosa. Are we trying to get it right? Are we? And by right, I'm talking about the things that we do. Estamos tratando de hacer las correct, cosas correctas. Esto, estoy hablando de, de, de las cosas que hacemos. Like getting here in time, como llegar a tiempo. Habla de algo más, Tommy. Talk about something else, Tommy. Do, do, do we want to focus all our energy on that so the church gets here on time? ¿Queremos enfocarnos en eso para que toda la iglesia llegue a tiempo? God spoke to my life. Dios habló a mi vida. And I don't care. Y ya no me importa como antes, like before. See, I always cared about the gospel. Siempre me, me importaba el evangelio. But now more than ever, pero ahora más que, que nunca. I care that we're bold in our homes, in our neighborhood, in the streets. Lo que me importa es que seamos atrevidos en la casa, en la vecindad. At work, in the trabajo. Because the church wasn't organized. The church wasn't perfect. La iglesia no era organizada. No era perfecta. But they were bold. Pero estaban atrevidos. They were bold for Christ. For the gospel. For the message of salvation. Eran atrevidos para Cristo. Para el mensaje de salvación. They were bold and passionate about what counted. Is Estaban atrevidos en lo que contaba. I want you and I, yo quiero que usted y yo, I want us to be passionate about the gospel. Queremos ser apasionados del evangelio. Atrevidos, just bold. To talk to whoever, hablar de cualquier persona. That's when the Bible says the miracles come. Es cuando la Biblia dice que vienen los milagros. When you pray for a perfect stranger, cuando oras por un extranjero. When you pray for somebody and you have no idea if God's going to heal them. Cuando oras por alguien y no tienes ni idea lo va a sanar. When you leave that embarrassment of, what if I pray and, and I'm so embarrassed if God doesn't heal them. Cuando dejas ese... Ese, esa vergüenza de que que si oro por esta persona y no sana que vergüenza el Señor pobrecito de él for him you don't have to feel sorry for Christ or God no tienes que sentirte mal para, por Cristo you don't have to excuse him not working a miracle no tienes que tener excusa por él no hacer el milagro but you'll never see one if you don't step out pero nunca vas a ver el milagro si no pisas if you don't step in the water, you will never walk on it. Si no pisas el agua, nunca vas a caminar sobre el agua. You have to open up your mouth and speak. Tienes que abrir la boca. And I'm not talking about here. No estoy hablando de aquí. I'm not talking that everybody's going to get a turn here. No estoy hablando de que todos van a tomar tiempo aquí a predicar. The goal is not to be a preacher. La meta no es ser predicador aquí en la iglesia, here in the church. It's to be out there. We, we, we forget what preaching really means. Se nos olvida lo que es predicar. It's not with a microphone. No es con micrófono. No es con pulpito. It's not with a pulpit. But if that's what it takes. Pero si eso es lo que toma. I'll, I'll even buy you a pulpit. Les voy a comprar un pulpito cada uno. Every one of you, I'll buy one. I'll sell my truck and buy a pulpit for everybody. And, and, and put a put a chain around it. I'll drill holes. I have a new tools. <laughs> Thank you. Voy a, voy a comprar pulpitos para todo, para que, a ver si así lo hacen. Le hago hoyos con mi herramienta nueva. Gracias. 
Si le pongo cadena, no put a chain around you, so you can go around that, see if that works. A ver si eso funciona. Para que abren la boca, so that you can open your mouth with your neighbors, with your coworkers, con los vecinos, con los de la... I don't care about this. No me importa esto. I have to talk out there in the real world. Tengo que hablar allá afuera. I have to be bold. Tengo que ser atrevido y de declarar and proclaim the name of Christ. Proclamar a Cristo que Él salva de pecado, that he, he forgives sin. Don't try to solve people's problems. No traten de resolver los problemas de las personas. It's not for you to do. No es para ti hacer. If you pray for somebody and a miracle happens, praise God. If you pray for somebody and a miracle doesn't happen, praise God. But that's not our problem. No es nuestro problema si Dios no obra cuando oramos. But he's never going to work. Pero nunca va a obrar si no somos atrevidos. If we're not bold as a church. Close your eyes. Cierra tus ojos. Lord, I've decided this morning to be bold. He decidido, Señor, en esta mañana ser atrevido. He decidido compartir el Evangelio. I have decided to share the gospel. What will I do about it? ¿Qué voy a hacer con esta decisión? What will I do to back up this decision, ¿qué voy a hacer para respaldar esta decisión? In the name of Jesus, en el nombre de Jesús. I want to remind everybody what scripture says. And then I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet. Voy a recordar lo que la escritura dice. Y luego voy a pedir que se pongan de pie. Antes de ir al cielo, Jesús, después de resucitar, after resurrecting, he ascended to heaven. Mark records these words. El libro de Marcos graba estas palabras de Jesús, these words of Christ, in chapter 16 and capítulo 16. These signs will accompany those who believe. Estas señales acompañarán a los que crean. Those who believe in my name and will drive out demons and they will speak in new tongues. A los que crean en mi nombre expulsarán demonios, hablarán en nuevas lenguas. There's that formula, ahí está esa fórmula de nuevo. They're filled with the Spirit, son llenos del Espíritu Santo. And then they're bold y son atrevidos. They will, they will drink anything deadly and it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. Tomarán en sus manos serpientes y cuando beban algo venenoso no les hará daño alguno. Pondrán las manos sobre los enfermos y estos recobrarán, recobrarán la salud. And they went out and preached everywhere. Los discípulos salieron y predicaron en todas partes. While the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word by accomplishing signs. Y el Señor los ayudaba en la obra y confirmaba su palabra con señales que las acompañaban. Ponte sobre tus pies. Why don't you rise to your feet? Not everybody's comfortable being bold. No todos están a gusto siendo atrevidos but there's others pero hay otros that want to be bold hay algunos que quieren ser atrevidos there's some that want to perform miracles hay algunos que quieren hacer milagros they want to heal quieren sanar quieren profetizar they want to prophesy they want to see signs and wonders Quieren ver prodigios y milagros. If that's you, si eres tú. If you want an uncommon Christianity, si tú quieres una cristiandad no común. If you want to be bold, si quieres ser atrevido. 
I'm inviting you to the altar. We want to pray. Queremos invitarlo al altar. Queremos orar.